Hey, hi, this is Bob, and it is Tuesday, September 26th, 2017, and I'm on the way out to uh, Los Angeles, and thought I'd stop and have a little chat with you about God. We're in Philippians 2, and um, the verse says, As Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature God, did not consider, Philippians 2, well, here we are at the heart, the heart, I guess I got an accent here, the heart of the matter, God. We are, we are not God. We are, we are his, his creations. He's the creator, he's the potter, and we're the clay. Uh, there's a thousand ways to put it. Uh, people who are uh, not connected with the Lord, they think somehow that, that they're going to be able to cipher and figure out God. Oh yeah, I, I just, just explain it to me. Go ahead, just, just tell me all about it. Go ahead. It'd be like me, it would be like me going up to uh, JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory up there on La Canada Flintridge in Pasadena, uh, the next door neighbor. And saying, okay, okay, I'll give you five minutes. Uh, tell me how to get to Mars. Well, um, go ahead, go ahead. Just, just, you know, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, chop, chop. Either you know how to get to Mars or you don't. Obviously, you don't know how to get to Mars. If you, don't, you can't explain it. Well, it's not that, sir, but it's... Or if someone were to say... Well, just tell me how to do heart surgery. You know, just go ahead, just explain it to me. Go ahead, come on, come on. Just, 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 just tell me all about it. I, 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 heart surgery. It's, it's not very hard. They do, they do it thousands of times every year. It's really a simple thing. Just tell me all about it. Just tell me how to do it. How do, how do I do it? Go ahead. I'll give you five minutes. Go ahead. Tell me how to do it. Like, what? These are simple things. But creating the entire world, all the creatures... Let's take him something simple. How about how about an automobile? Uh, you know, they got the tires and the lights, and <laughs> nobody can figure out an automobile today. Now, years ago, back when I was a, a, a little wee skeeter, a little wee lad, uh, I had a boss, and this boss, his name was Vaughn, and uh, and he had a a son named Mike, a daughter named Cindy, and an older uh, son. That's so I will recall the name. But they were they were auto people. They liked they liked working with automobiles, and they knew all about automobiles. They knew about engines and gas tanks and and filters and pumps and alternators and generators and and transmissions and they knew about everything. And they worked with cars from the nineteen. Uh, 50s and 60s and uh, 70s uh, they started they were still working on them and uh, this guy Vaughn he would take an engine out put another engine in like it was changing a battery and a flashlight it was like no big deal for him bada bing bada boom you know bup, 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 bup. real simple well for me <laughs> I I I could I could change oil. I did that on a car. You this little nut there, and you change the oil with a nut, and you just and a lot of times the nut would fall into the oil, and you'd have that oil pan down there, and I try not to get oil in the driveway, and then you have to put the, the little thing back in after it all drained out, and then you got to put in so many quarts of oil, and I could do that. That was pretty much you know the extent of my great mechanical technology. Today's cars, I mean. You'd have to be some kind of rocket scientist to, to even, there's no way to figure it out. The, your hands, your hands can't fit into the uh, engine compartment. Everything is made to, you know, specifications within a you know, millimeter of a centimeter of just, it's just everything is so technical. And most of the cars are computer based. I mean, you have to plug them in. There's a little plug even in this old jalopy that I have and you plug it in and, and, uh, you uh, are able to diagnose the problem with the car by 
reading the screen and by by knowing how to to work the the uh, work the program. Well, all that is just dandy, but the thing is, is that God, God is is way beyond any engineering degree any mechanical certification any sort of teamwork I mean to get to Mars there's no way that a man can go to Mars it's impossible a man will never go to Mars a man will not be able to get into space there's you, you can't go to your 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 man cave or your she she what do they call it she space, she shed, that's what I heard on the TV. You can't go there and just, well, I'm going to go to Mars. It's impossible. It takes a giant, huge team of people, hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of people, in order to go to Mars, to go to space. Uh, JPL is, is not a, a Lone Ranger sort of program. It's not even a, well, let's get us five guys together and we'll go. No. They started off with a few people, you know, setting rockets off in the north of Royal Seiko. But, uh, no. There's no way to do that now. You just, it takes a big team. Uh, the Tower of Babel, it was a famous tower built by people, a lot of people. And they thought, we're going to go up, we're going to go see God. And God was not happy. It didn't. It did not go well for the the people who built the Tower of Babel. Uh, God created all the languages at that time. He he did it so that people would not ever again try to build something uh, like that. And <clears throat> right there, that 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 explanation and that that illustration, people will laugh and go, ah, ha, 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 ha. now we're up, we're in space. You see, so we're way beyond the Tower of Babel. See and. Well, the point was, was that it was, a, it was a picture, it was an analogy, it was a prophecy that, that um, God is beyond our comprehension. And my brother Tim, good old Timmy, hey Timmy, how are you buddy, good to see you, what a guy, yeah, probably at the poolside. My brother Tim, he's, he's got his life organized, boy. He retired, sold the, sold the old homestead there and, and is... Uh, Enjoying his uh, his retirement, his rest, and time with the family, and um, walks on the beach, and washing the windows on the van, and having a great time. And uh, my brother Tim said to me recently, he said, uh, "Bob, it's you're never going to win the argument. You know, we can argue and argue and argue and argue and back and forth and this and that and no, 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 yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, oh yeah, yeah." Ba 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 bee 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 ba 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 boo boo boo. We can go on forever with that that kind of conversation, and you know where we're gonna get? No. 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 Absolutely not. We're gonna get nowhere. <laughs> we're gonna go nowhere. There, there's really, you know. It's the way that we communicate. The way that we communicate. That's the most, that was what Timmy was saying. Uh, people are going to have disagreements. People are going to have um, points of view that are different. But the fact of the matter is that we as individuals, we can and we need to, by the Lord's command, communicate in a loving manner. So rather than me trying to shove my opinion down your throat, I'm going to convince you, I'm going to argue with you, I'm going to... All we can do is just share our point of view and then let it go. You know, if you share Jesus with somebody... Well, you know, Jesus died for your sin, and he, he rose from the dead, and he's, he's paid the price. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. And they're like, nah, 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 Jesus. There's no Jesus. There's no God. All we can do is pray. We have to pray that the Holy Spirit 
blows into their heart, blows into their mind, because it's by faith. It's not by understanding, it's by faith. You know, here, yes, the Word of God is true. And yes, God, God's Word is important. And yes, we do need to speak. But to, to try to shove someone around in such a way that that's not, a, that's not a good idea. That's not the way to do it. No, we want to... Pray. Just pray. If you want to pray with me, if you want to give me a call, I'd love to hear from you. 213-713-8954 or 8954 green at att.net on the Twitter, Mr. Bob at Bob Bob8954. And of course, you're watching Bob's Daily Devo here on YouTube. And <clears throat> uh, when are we going to have our next hospitality open house potluck? I'm not real sure. I'm still... I just last night got pretty much, pretty much uh, everything wrapped up uh, in uh, the main the main hall at the Casa La Victoria. I was able to to get everything put put back, put away, and it's it's, it's uh, the room is done, pretty much, pretty much. I still have a little bit more hanging to do, but it's pretty much all done, pretty much all ready to go. I have to do some more hanging, and. Um, I'm going out today to LA. I'm going to work on uh, several little projects. I pray that you are blessed today. I pray that you uh, you do know Jesus, and if you do know the Lord, then let's try to be loving. Let's let's do our best to just breathe in the Holy Spirit, and to um, we don't have to be puppets for anybody. We don't have to be um, not even for the Lord. The Lord doesn't even expect us to be a puppet. The Lord will speak to us and. He expects us to, to listen and to, to respond in a, an appropriate manner. But at the same time, no one, the Holy Spirit, even though he will, he will be persistent, even though he will be present, even though he will continue to, to uh, remind us, he will never <coughs> treat us less than if we don't agree, if we don't understand, if we don't get it. He'll just simply keep keep massaging in the truth in a gentle, loving uh, way. Yeah, just do it in a gentle, loving way. That's the main thing. To be loving and gentle and kind and uh, to reach out to people today and to show God. God is mercy. God's character is mercy love, faithfulness, forgiveness. Jesus came and he said that if someone sins, you can forgive them. Forgive them, what, what, three, four times? Twice? Well, I'm going to forgive you this once. And then, it's curtains for you, pal. No. Jesus said, forgive endlessly. Get out the old carte blanche card. And just Endless grace, endless forgiveness, endless mercy, endless... That's how we show God. We're not... Now, that's different than, than the course. We're getting into a whole thing there where... Uh, well, I'm supposed to let the guy take all my chickens every day and have to buy... And I'm just supposed to give him endless grace, endless forgiveness. Now, there's laws about that. And the, and the Lord allowed for us to have laws and there's rules about society and there's consequences. I mean, the Lord knows about consequences. He, uh, you know, if I, if I were to, to drop a, a weight on my foot, it's going to hurt. There's no doubt about it. Uh, so there are consequences to life. There's consequences to living. And, and God didn't think about ignoring consequences. But at the same time, we, we want to show people grace, love, kindness, mercy. That's my prayer today. I pray that you'll join me. Uh, this is Bob. And uh, don't live in fear. Live in joy. Live in hope. Live in grace and mercy and kindness. Uh, go forth and just hands up praising the Lord. Praising the Lord. Amen. 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 Talk to you tomorrow. God bless. Love you. Thumbs up.